Hey Frag fam, Corbin here from Northwest Scent. Now today, we're going to be talking about a fragrance from the house of Nishan A. Hassavat, Annie, and Fan Your Flames seem to get the most love from that house. And while those are really good offerings, I think this one is just as good. And in my opinion, I think it's even better than Hassavat. And the reason I compare it to Hassavat is just because they're in the same general genre of fragrance. Now, it's not a new fragrance, it's been out since 2017, but I'd be willing to bet that some of you have never even heard of this fragrance. So if that sounds interesting to you guys, stay tuned. But first, let's roll that intro. Hey, welcome back. So, like I said, we're gonna be talking about a fragrance from the house of Nishan A. Now, the one we're gonna be reviewing today and talking about is called Karagos. And it comes in this cool charcoal black bottle. Now, just going over the basics really quick, it's classified as a fruity aromatic. The perfumer behind it is George Lee. And like I said, it was launched in 2017. Now, going over the presentation, I, for these higher end, Fragrances, I will try and show the boxes if I can. However, in this case, I got a tester, which made it more affordable. It's just a white cardboard box, nothing really special, so I won't show that. But just going over the presentation of the bottle itself, again, here's the bottle. It's your normal Nishane 50 milliliter size bottle with that really cool cap. And it does not click into place, it slides into place, but it's very snug you can easily pick it up by the cap. And like I said, it's a charcoal black, it's matte finish, it's not shiny at all, except for the lettering. And I think it's a really cool looking bottle. It's actually my favorite Nishane that I have, just based on presentation. Now going over the notes and the scent, I'll put the notes right here. As far as the smell, this one's really unique. To me, it smells like 30% Percival, or Mont Blanc Explorer, anything, you know, the, the Abercrombie Fitch Fierce, kind of that genre. 30% Hasavat and then the rest is kind of its own thing. So, right off the top, you get this juicy red grape smell, and it's super realistic. I don't think you can actually extract any kind of scent from grapes. Like, I don't think it's possible to make an actual grape fragrance oil, but it's a super realistic grape. It does not smell synthetic at all, not like, you know, grape-flavored chewing gum or anything like that. It's a very realistic, freshly squeezed, juicy red grape smell. And then you also get this pineapple note, which is really prominent. And that's why I think it's somewhat comparable to Hasabat. Hasabat also has a juicy pineapple note, and it's very different than something like Aventus. Aventus has a very sharp, very citrusy pineapple. This one's a very juicy, sweet pineapple, like a riper pineapple. And then another unique note, which is, I think it's a mid note. It's either a mid note or a base note is oud and you can smell that within a couple of minutes of applying the fragrance and i actually have the dry downs right here and yeah you can pick it up basically the whole way through it's not a dirty oud or anything like that it's more like an old growth or like kind of lumber kind of that's been sitting around for a while kind of just like this old cabin woody smell not rotten or anything like that but it does smell really nice and it's a very unique blend of those three notes especially from the top now, after a couple of hours in the dry down, and like I said, I have the dry down right here, you kind of start to pick out some of these more green herbal notes that just kind of adds like a grassy kind of hay smell. And there's some vetiver in there as well, and I think that contributes to that for sure. I'm not a huge vetiver person, so some are hit or miss for me, but in this case, I think it's really nice mixing with those green herbal notes. And then in the mid, and definitely into the base, you definitely start to get this kind of powdery smell, which comes from the amber. So you, then you also get a little bit of sweetness from the amber, which we know, you know, it's a blend of different compounds, one of them being vanilla. So you do that, get that kind of rich sweetness in the base, but the main players all the way through are the grape, the oud, and then the amber, and then maybe those green herbal notes kind of riding down underneath. This is honestly an amazing fragrance. It's super unique. It's not, super duper wearable. I mean, it, it no, it is definitely wearable, but you might have to be in the mood for something like this. It's not something that you can just dumb reach, spray on, and you'll be good to go. You kind of have to be in the mood and maybe for the right setting, but just because of the sweetness and then that kind of seductive woody oud smell, 
I would say this is like a great kind of night out scent or like a date night, something like that where you just want to smell good but unique. This definitely has you covered. And unlike some other Nishane offerings, like Hasavat for example, my issue with that one was while it does smell good, it's very synthetic smelling to me and very sharp right off the top, kind of like, like a cleaner almost. This doesn't really have those issues. This one's a lot more natural smelling, but you get that beast mode performance that Nishane is known for. And especially for a fruity fresh offering like this, that's amazing. I've easily gotten 12 plus hours wearing this. You know, I've been wearing this all day and I can still smell it easily without even having to put my nose right up to my wrist. So as far as performance goes, no joke. Now, as far as pricing for this fragrance, it's honestly one of the more affordable Nishan A's. They seem to kind of vary in pricing a little bit. This one's on the lower end. I got this 125, or excuse me, I got this 50 milliliter tester for $125. And then the 100 milliliters, I think they go for about 170, 180, somewhere around there. And those usually come full presentation. I think only the 50 milliliters are the ones that you can find as testers. So overall, considering the price, when you factor in the presentation, the scent quality, the smell, and then the performance, I think this one's a pretty good buy. And then for seasons when you could wear this, I think fall, winter, and spring would be perfect. Winter is okay just because even though it is fruity, it does have that oud, has that amber, has that vetiver, those are all darker notes. And then of course the performance, this one's really loud. So even when it's cold out, this thing's gonna have no problem pushing out and lasting for a long time. I think summer you'd really have to watch out wearing this one. I think it's possible. You just have to watch your sprays, like two max. It's literally that strong. I'm doing, I wore two sprays today and my girlfriend could smell me for like eight hours and I can still pick it up now even, you know. So again, it's a beast performer, a good buy overall, a great deal. So again, that was Nishane Karagos. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this review. I tried to keep it as concise as possible and cover everything as quickly as I could. As far as pricing that I mentioned earlier, that is from discounters. Retail, these things sell for a lot more. I'm not 100% on what the retail price is, but I wouldn't pay it. You can definitely find this on discounters. If I find a discounter with a good price, I will be sure to link it down below. Uh, this one's hit or miss on finding it. I had to wait a little while in order to find it when it was in stock. But if I do find anything, I, again, I will link it down below. And if you guys enjoyed the video, I really appreciate leaving a like and then commenting and then subscribing and hitting the bell notification just so you guys stay up to date. I know it's a lot to ask for, but it's all free and it means a lot to me, so I really appreciate it. And then with that, I hope you guys have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.